Hey guys, Chris Brown here, Casey Guy 2. Today I want to give you a quick little product review on the Chicago Electric welding cart I picked up from Harbor Freight about a year ago. Done a couple mods to it, like this uh, quick action folding shelf on it, and a couple other odds and ends. So I just want to give you guys uh, you know, a quick walk around and uh, show you some of the mods on it. Anyway, I've owned it for about two years and I will say I am pleased uh, with the quality of it. It's held up very well. I don't think I'd buy a Harbor Freight welder, uh, even though I've heard okay things about them, but their cart, uh, they're not so bad. So, uh, probably the best feature of this thing is the, the folding shelf on the side. Uh, this is actually a lid uh, to my tool cart that I have in my garage, and I didn't need that anymore, so uh, I already had the hinge on and everything. I just welded that on there. And, and uh, so basically, you just take this bottom flap here, flip up, hooks up here. Uh, as far as the, the hinge on the bottom here, I uh, went to Home Depot and used one of their uh, cheapo, you know, like door, storm door hinges, I guess it was, or something like that. Whatever, I don't remember. I did that like probably a year and a half ago now. Um, I also relocated the handle back a little further and uh, welded that on too, so that don't rock at all. Got a little, little clamp on vice here, made in West Germany. It's a quality little piece. But uh, as far as the way I keep it here, um, I always keep my jacket on because I don't want dust uh, piling up on my welding helmet or on the gauges or the welders themselves. So uh, we'll pop that off here. And uh, as you can see here, we'll do a quick little spin around tour, however. Tripod there. We've got two tanks on there, argon for doing uh, aluminum with the, the spool mate I have, and then uh, your regular C25 for doing <coughs> regular MIG steel, mild steel. Um, anyway, where else can I go here with this? Uh, so this is the, the Miller 211 I got on here. Love this machine. It's such a phenomenal machine. And then I just doubled it up on top with, uh, with the, the new. Uh, this is the Spectrum 375 Extreme Plasma Cutter. Love this thing too. It's great. Um, got your, uh, you know, when you get this from Harbor Freight, it comes with these two hooks here. So they're easy. You just bolt those on. Uh, I got a 50 foot uh, 882 cable there. And then, you know, you put a splitter on the end so you can run both the, instead of plugging one or the other in, going back and forth, you got both machines plugged in at the same time. So it's really it's really great pieces. When you want to do a project, you just like ah, put this up, plug it in, turn your gas on, and then uh, this is perfect height for when you're sitting in the chair. You can just be you know zipping away on here. Um, it's it's nice. So as far as hanging the stuff here, I just leave the the helmet uh, hanging on like some aluminum wire here. Added a couple of hooks. I'll try to get this a little bit closer for you guys. Hopefully you can see it. Um, added a couple of hooks like this one. I drilled into the, the miller. Didn't want to do it, but whatever. I, I didn't want to weld on the thing, so I just drilled a hole and put that in. Whatever. Bolt on easy enough. And uh, same thing up here. Drilled through the plastic. Put a hook right there for your ground lead. And then uh, for the plasma cutter, you just coil, coil those up. And again, I just use aluminum wire for, uh, for hanging that stuff. Um, otherwise, I will say uh, the construction of it is very solid. It was originally designed to hold one tank. Um, but I went ahead and, and uh, it's, it, there's enough space for two, uh, two skinny tanks there. Uh, I think that one's an 80, uh, 80 cubic foot and one's a 60 cubic foot. They're both the same width, though. Uh, going into some detail on this, this side shelf here, I'll pop this off here so I can show you. Uh, nothing real fancy here, you just got a, a hinge welded down here and a piece of steel. I mean, if you wanted to get crazy with it, you could actually have uh, made a, a ridge or lip a little bit closer here and then have a, a steeper angle on this, which would be nice, but then you're not getting such structural, in, the best structural integrity in my opinion. So the only downside to this, though, is, you know, this only hangs down to the bottom here, which is just fine. But when you're opening it, it's got to stick out pretty far, not, not too much further than the shelf. So 
that's all fine and dandy. And then to extend it and uh, add some, some brute force back here, I just uh, welded a piece of um, angle, angle iron here. Cut it out there. Uh, the nice thing about this table, though, is I actually have the, the ground doubled up. So you have this ground here, and then it, I splice another lead into it, which goes back here and goes. It's on a magnet on the bottom of this table. So um, you know, on a table, obviously, you don't have to pull your ground off. You can weld right on the table, which is great. Um, that being said, you know, here's your drawers. The top ones are not full depth. Got uh, this is a little bit deeper than the top one, and then uh, you know, so you got plenty of, plenty of space, nice deep drawers, keep all your stuff in there. In the bottom, I store some extra wire, and then uh, my spool mate down there. If you guys haven't used one of those, they're a pain in the butt, kind of. I just did a project the other day, it's actually my, my first time really needing it for something big. And look how many tips I went through, freaking burning tips up like crazy because I. I guess you could say I didn't know what I was doing with the darn thing, but I figured it out. Got it going good, so got it done, you know, got to get it done. But uh, anyway, uh, I will say one thing I might do in the future is reinforce the wheels a little bit, uh, but they seem to be holding up fine. Um, there's actually a guy on YouTube that does a, a specific how-to on how to set this this unit up, but I mean, I didn't do that because it's I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory. I'll show you this, though. I mean, I'm 180 pounds. And I can, this, you would think this thing's offset balance with this big long shelf coming off, but I can actually stand on this thing, and let's hope it doesn't fall over on my down. Yeah, I, I'm 180 pounds, and I can stand on it. Of course, if I go to the edge, yeah, it's going to maybe fall over, but whatever the case, I mean, this, this, little, this little thing can hold some, hold some stuff. So, you know, I don't have one but two machines on it, not one but two tanks on the back, and it's still holding up good. So, I mean... You know, if you're contemplating wasting your time building your own, I mean, that's awesome. If you can do that efficiently, then heck yeah, man, build your own. But if you just need a welding cart and a jam, uh, you know, this is definitely the, the way to go. This is Harbor, Harbor Freight Chicago Electric, you know, the deluxe version, not the little cheapo one. Uh, it's great. I like that it has the drawers, the space there, so, so your stuff doesn't get all dusty and, and, and crappy, you know, because... Lord knows you're grinding the way on other stuff on a bench grinder over there and shit's flying everywhere and, you know, yada, yada. But uh, as far as the combo with the, the 211 and the uh, the plasma gun on top, I mean, pfft, it's literally, uh, I wouldn't change it for the world. Uh, and these machines are actually uh, bolted down. Um, if you go in here, it's just, uh, I don't have the light on my camera, but there's wing nuts that I have. I put some studs in the uh, table and it's... It's held down by wing nuts, so, uh, you know, heaven forbid. So, well, this is actually just tied on here. I just did a uh, trucker's hitch up here. <laughs> so if you look at this, it goes down here. Uh, here's another hook I put on the back for putting a big, long clamp. But, yeah, this just has a trucker hitch holding that on with some little rope because I do that, take that on the fly sometimes. But anyway, I'm just rambling now, man. I mean, that's it. The Chicago Electric uh, welding cart. It's good stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't, let me know what I did wrong. Thanks a lot. I'll see you.